This week in class, we read The Country Wife by William Witcherly, and to me it deals a lot with the treatment of women in that time period. I think we can look at Marjorie, Pinchwife's silly little country wife, as a kind of test subject. Um, she is loved by Pinchwife because she is from a small town, and he thinks that she's very innocent. Um, yet as soon as Pinchwife introduces her into the town society and puts the idea in her head that another man finds her desirable, she is overcome with this need to be mischievous, to go out on the town and find Horner. So uh, my question is, are we that affected by our surroundings? If Marjorie had stayed in the country, would she have behaved in a way that Pinchwife wanted her to? Would she have been his perfect little wife? Or would she have still rebelled no matter her surroundings? So I believe it's human nature to rebel against oppression and to do what we're not allowed to do. So in the book, The Theater of the Oppressed, the author, Augusto Spo, opens with, In this book, I also offer some proof that the theater is a weapon, a very efficient weapon. For this reason, one must fight for it. For this reason, the ruling classes strive to take permanent hold of the theater and utilize it as a tool for domination. But the theater can also be a weapon for liberation. So I'm interested to watch the progression of women through the history of theater in this class and how the way that they would be treated during William Witcherly's time creates a chain reaction down the timeline of history. How what one man publicly portrayed women in 1670 can cause a whole web of women to get involved in theater just to make sure their voices are heard and then they get equal representation in the way that women are portrayed on stage and to be liberated from the oppression of men.